So hey guys, it is me here, the Wizard of Vistro, and yes guys, it's me uh, bringing you guys another video on Infinite Warfare, and I just want to say, you know, it really pissed me off the COD community recently because Infinity Ward, you know, they've tried so hard and given us a game like Bayo 3 because they know that we enjoy that movement in that game and they want to bring something new to the table as, you know, sort of Sledgehammer Games did with Advanced Warfare movement, even though it was a piece of shit. And BO3, you know, Treyarch have done the same with Black Ops 3, bring this thruster movement. In my, in my opinion, you know, and a lot of people will agree to this, uh, Treyarch have literally mastered this new sort of mechanic movement sort of thing. And I honestly don't blame Infinity Ward for copying that. Now, I'm seeing, you know, shitloads and shit tons of videos of people saying, you know, Oh my god, Infinite Warfare, they have copied Treyarch, they've took everything out of Treyarch's game and put it into theirs. It's just basically a DLC for Black Ops 3. Now that is true guys, but what you guys are going to think is, is like, we had Call of Duty 4 and World of War, which were both so similar games, but people enjoyed them just as much. We had Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, both games, exactly the same, different perks, different layouts, different maps, people still enjoyed it. And Infinity Ward have seen how much um, sort of Treyarch have mastered the movement in Black Ops 3 and thought, you know, that is the right path to go down. And I'm seeing so many videos of people just straight up complaining about literally nothing. The COD community is like, honestly, like, I don't know why people just find the need to sort of complain. And it always seems to be around about this time of year. And these people who are complaining, they will still buy the 80, they will still buy the game for 80 bucks, 80 pounds. They will still buy the DLC, and they will still play the fucking game all year round, always finding something to moan at. And I do not understand this because we've had so many games that are similar to each other in the COD community, well, in the Call of Duty franchise, and. Infinity Ward have just decided to sort of copy BO3, which I know, you know, it might come across as sort of a bad thing, but would you rather them sort of create a movement system that we have never played before and it could sort of go over to the stage of Advanced Warfare where it's too fast, skill-based matchmaking, all that sort of stupid shit that isn't COD and literally destroy the game and we have to go back to playing BO3 for another year. Fair enough, you know, there is a thousand levels in BO3, but that isn't going to last, you know, like a whole two years. People have already got like, sort of like a level 1000 right now and we're obviously getting closer. Now, I don't think about you guys or how you guys sort of feel about this, but I am very happy that Infinite Warfare even actually sort of had got the same movement as BO3. And it's because, you know, I actually love BO3. The movement, the way it plays, the mechanics, the specialist abilities. I mean, I don't really think that the specialist abilities were going to be a good thing for the game when I first sort of seen them getting showcased in a multiplayer reveal. But they aren't as bad, you know, as like they made them look to be. And I think I just sort of doubted Infinite Warfare too much. And it looks like it's going to be a fantastic game. And I'm glad they've went down the sort of the BO3 movement sort of way instead of going down the um, uh, advanced warfare sort of movement way because BO3, the movement is just being fucking mastered by Treyarch in that game and I hope, you know, Sledgehammer Games decide to go down the same route of copying BO3's movement in giving their own little twist on the game because I think this is going to be the new future for Call of Duty and I think it's going to be something where every developer in Call of Duty should go down as the movement is absolutely perfect in my opinion and even if you guys, you know, don't enjoy this first movement, you always have sort of Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered to sort of fall back on. And that game will pretty much never die out, in my opinion. Well, not in the next sort of 3-4 years, because, like, Killed 4 now on Xbox 360, even though next-gen consoles have come out, there's hackers in Killed 4, there's still, like, you know, 500 to 2,000 players playing that game. And that game was made over 10 years ago, which is just fucking crazy. But that's all I got for today, guys. Sorry if my voice sounds different. I am literally ill. I am dying. But I still thought, you know, I need to make you guys this video. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And I'm out. Peace. Catch you guys in the next one.